In this video, we're going to talk about diagnosing some faults and how you can narrow down the number of steps that it would take to figure out what's wrong. Every time you make a measurement or do something, you need to get a result or something needs to be eliminated. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time. Let's analyze a condition where the car comes in and none of the power windows are working. Now I've drawn seven voltmeters on the page and it's really just this one voltmeter that you're moving to different locations. What I'm trying to do is get you to think about which of these locations, which meter measurements would make a difference to your diagnosis of none of the windows are working. So the first thing you would do is verify that none of the windows are working because sometimes the customer may say that the windows don't work, but maybe a couple of them work from the rear switches and nothing works from the driver switch. So you need to evaluate all of the switches and decide, well, what's working and what's not working because that'll help you narrow down the number of tests you have to do. And one other thing, the way I have meter V7 hooked up over here on the left is I'm connected to battery positive and then if the negative lead touches a wire that is ground, then the meter would read the battery voltage. So let's say it's a 12 volt battery. I connect the red lead to the positive battery and then the black lead goes to, in this case, connector C2 terminal A. And if the meter reads 12 volts, then that's saying that there is no open in that path to ground. But as far as the other meters go, which ones will give us some information and which ones are a waste of time for the fault none of the windows work? Would making a measurement at meter V1, would that be a good test? Would it give you any information once you've made that test? What about V2 and V3? If you said V1 was a good test, you're right. It does give you some information. It tells you that you're getting power up to that point in the circuit. So you are eliminating the circuit breaker and the power that supplies the circuit breaker from above. So you are eliminating something, so it's a valid test. What about meter number two? If I connect my meter to ground and then touch terminal C of connector C2, I'm expecting to read 12 volts there. And if I get 12 volts, will that eliminate something? Yes, it would. It would eliminate the wiring all the way up to that point of the circuit. What about underneath the switch where meter V3 is connected? Is that test necessary? Does it give me any new information? And you could argue, oh yes, it gives me new information. It'll tell me that the lockout switch is working or not. And you're right about that part of it. But if the windows are all not working from either switch, is that test going to lead me closer to why all of the windows are not working? And the answer in this case is no because it doesn't matter if I'm getting voltage to terminal F of all three of the passenger window switches, because even if that was not working, the driver's window switch would still operate all of the windows normally. So making that test for this particular complaint doesn't help us at all. And the same for meter V4. I could test for power at that one window switch, but if all of the windows don't work, that's just wasting my time. It's not really getting me to the core of the problem, which has to be something that affects all the windows. What about meter V5? That's testing the wiring between the two switches. But if that wire was bad, this is a good way to decide if the test is worth it. If making a test here tells me that that wire is good, would that affect all of the windows or would it only affect one of them or two of them? And in this case, that wire only affects the right rear window motor. So since the complaint is all of the windows don't work, we don't need to make that test. And the same for meter V6. Because it only pertains to the right rear window motor, it's not a necessary test for this complaint. What about V7? Is it important to test the ground to make sure that there's a ground for the window switch? And absolutely there is a good test here because we need to know that. So out of all the meters that are hooked up on this picture, the only three that are actually important to us right now are V1, V2, and V7. And if you made the test at V2 first, that would save you from making the test at V1. So for me, if the switch was easy to access, where maybe you just take a screw out or pop a retainer clip and it pops up, I would make my first test there. But if you had to take the door panel off to access the window switch because of the way the design is, 
then I would make my first test perhaps at the circuit breaker and maybe my second test would go to where V2 is or where V7 is because then I'd have to access the switch anyway. So if all of the windows are not working, the problem would have to be in that power wire that goes to connector C2 terminal C or the ground wire that is connector C2 terminal A from there to G301 or it would have to be inside the driver's window switch. And that's pretty much the only three possibilities and you just have to eliminate them. And if you were making a meter measurement at the two locations for V2 and V7, then you should be able to get the information you need to decide if it's a switch or not. In the next video, we're going to do a little bit of reverse thinking where I'm going to put a fault on the picture so you can see where the open is. And what I want you to do is decide which windows would be working and which would not. And we're going to do this a couple of times for a couple different scenarios because this type of reverse thinking is what makes you really understand the picture. And even though every car, every year, every model may have a different picture, once you understand the details that are on a few pictures and you really know what you're talking about for those pictures, then your chance of using that information to figure out something new or a new picture or a new model, your chances of figuring that out are very good. So let me show you what I'm talking about in the next video.